Hi Tsame and Mabuhai! Welcome back to Philly Swiss. In today's video, so we are still following the theme of love in this beautiful hearts month. Yes, for me, it is a month-long event rather than a day. And in this video, I would like to show you or share with you rather the recipes that I used in order to make a very romantic dinner. So you can use this not just for Valentine's Day because it's already passed, but you can use this for any romantic dinner that you would like to set up with your date, with your partner. So enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. I hope you find these meals delicious. I know that we enjoy them a lot. Definitely uh, cooking them was it was just another feeling, you know, because you know it was for something like a special dinner. It's not uh, the dinner that you have every night, you know, you must cook this or do that. You know, lockdown situation still can't go to a restaurant, although we would have loved to have gone to a restaurant for this night. But, 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 all good. Everything was made with love and passion. So my whole heart went into these dishes. I hope you guys enjoy it, so let's go! For the bruschetta, you will need For the method, bake the garlic bread according to package instructions Cut the tomatoes into quarters, then place in a bowl. Cut the basil into thin edible strips, then place in the same bowl as the tomatoes. Drizzle olive oil, then season with salt and pepper. Add the vinegar, mix, then leave it in the fridge and take it out when you're ready to serve. Using a spoon, top the garlic bread with the tomatoes and basil. For the lamb fillet, you will need for the method, in a small bowl, add the garlic powder, Italian herbs, and pepper, then mix. Season the lamb fillet and rub salt in addition to the spice mix. Leave for at least 15 minutes or until you're ready to cook. Heat olive oil in a frying pan on medium heat. Place the lamb and cook each side for 5 minutes. Now you can drizzle annatto oil before turning one side and drizzle on top of the other. Take the meat off the heat and let it sit 3-5 to five minutes and then serve. For the roasted Brussels sprouts, you will need For the method, Preheat the oven at 220 degrees Celsius. Season the Brussels sprouts with paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and pepper. Drizzle with olive oil and then mix. Lay them out on a baking pan lined with a baking sheet. Let it cook for 25 to 30 minutes, then take it out and serve. For the chocolate lava cake, you will need For the method, preheat the oven to 220 degrees Celsius. Melt the butter, then transfer to a mixing bowl. Then add the chocolate and mix until smooth. In a separate bowl, add the flour, salt, sugar, and eggs, then mix. Transfer the batter to the chocolate bowl and mix with a spatula. Spoon the mixture into a muffin tin and leave to bake in the oven for 8 minutes. Take it out of the oven and let it sit to cool off. You can warm it up in the oven for a few minutes before serving to let the chocolate melt again. Alright, so welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed those recipes. I hope it didn't make you too hungry, but if you did, I think it's a good sign that we did a good job. Let me know in the comments section down below if I did a good job or if it made you hungry at all. So now, my question of the day for you. How did you celebrate your Valentine's Day? And if you did not celebrate Valentine's Day, how will you? 
Now, if you're not sure how you're going to answer this question, let me give you a hint. What do you love doing the most with your special someone or even with your family? So love is not just about partnership with uh, as a couple, but it's also familial love. It's everything. So guys, let me know in the comment section down below how you love to do it, how you celebrate your Valentine's Day with your family or the Valentine's Month with your family and friends or your partner. So. So guys, thank you for joining me in this video. I hope you enjoyed the recipes, of course. If you have your own recommendations on what you actually had or what you did for Valentine's Day, whether you're in the lockdown situation like us or you were able to go out, tell us what you did. Share, share, share. Always want to see what other people's romantic love stories are. It keeps me entertained. <laughs> guys, I'll see you next time in my next video. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like this one. And of course, click the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this and the notification bell to be notified for future videos so as always i will see you next time in shona and paalam